Welcome to Wildlife Acoustics. Let's take a look inside the Song Meter Mini recorder. To open the Song Meter Mini, unsnap the lid and remove. On the left side of the recorder is the microphone. You can see the wire that connects the microphone to the circuit board. On the right side of the recorder is a nut and plastic bolt. The bolt can be unscrewed and a second acoustic microphone can be added. Below the nut you see the socket where the second microphone will be connected. Back on the left side, here is the jumper block which determines whether the SongMeter Mini will draw power from the AA batteries or the optional lithium-ion battery lid. New SongMeter Minis ship with the power jumper in the AA position. Below the power jumper block is the connection for the lithium-ion battery lid. We'll discuss the lithium-ion battery lid in detail in a separate video. Here is the AA battery holder and here is the SD memory card holder. In the bottom left hand corner we see the power switch and to the right of the power switch is the pair status button. When the song meter mini is powered on the status LEDs come on and stay on for one minute. If no buttons are pressed on the front panel for one minute the status LEDs will then turn off. Pressing the status button will turn the LEDs back on. There are three status LEDs which are labeled Bluetooth, Recording, and SD card. When the status LEDs are turned on, if the Bluetooth LED is off, that means the SongMeter Mini is not currently paired with the Configurator app. Once the SongMeter Mini is powered on, hold down the pair button for three seconds. The Bluetooth LED will blink green, indicating the SongMeter Mini is ready to pair with its Configurator app. If the Bluetooth LED is solid green, that indicates the recorder is currently paired with the Configurator app. If the Bluetooth LED blinks red, that indicates that the recorder's internal clock needs to be reset. The clock is set automatically when the recorder is paired with the Configurator app. And if the Bluetooth LED is solid red, that indicates there was some sort of problem pairing the recorder to the app. If the recording LED is blinking green, that indicates the SongMeter Mini is currently recording. If the recording LED is solid green, that means the SongMeter Mini is not currently recording and is waiting for the next scheduled recording time. If the recorder LED is solid red, that indicates the SongMeter Mini cannot currently record. This could happen if there's no SD memory card, for example. The last status LED is for the SD memory card. If the LED is off, that indicates no memory card is inserted. If the LED is blinking green, that means the SD card is currently active. If the LED is solid green, that means the card is not currently active and can be removed from the recorder. Although to be safe, Wildlife Acoustics recommends only removing the SD card when the SongMeter Mini is actually powered off. If the SD card LED is blinking red, that means the card is full. If the LED is solid red, that indicates there is some sort of problem with the SD memory card. In this case, reformatting the card may solve the problem. The SD memory cards can be reformatted from the Configurator app or from the front panel function button. There are four available front panel functions on the SongMeter Mini. Press the function button repeatedly to toggle between the four function LEDs. When the desired function LED is lit, hold the function button down for three seconds to initiate the function. The first function creates a diagnostic file and writes it to the SD memory card. This diagnostic file can be read by a wildlife acoustics technician and describes all the details of how the recorder is functioning. The next function LED is load. The load function will download a firmware update or configuration file from an SD memory card into the SongMeter Mini recorder. For example, I've gone to the Wildlife Acoustics website and downloaded the latest firmware update for my SongMeter Mini. I'll copy the firmware update onto the SD card. I'll insert the SD card into the recorder and press and hold the function button. When all the LEDs flash green, I know the firmware is updated. If all the LEDs flashed red, that would indicate there was some sort of a problem with the firmware update. On my mobile device, I have a saved configuration file. I'll select the save configuration and press the share button. I can use standard Android or iOS file sharing tools. I'll email the configuration file to my PC. I'll download the attachment and copy the configuration file to the SD card. I can then insert the card into the recorder and load the configuration file. By copying the configuration file to the SD memory card, I can update the configuration in my SongMeter Mini without having to use my mobile device. 
The defaults function resets all internal parameters of the recorder with the exception of the current date and time. For a complete list of default settings, please check the user guide. And the last function LED is format. With this LED lit, holding down the function button will reformat the currently inserted SD memory card. This is useful to make sure the card is completely empty. It can also help if the SD card has become corrupted and isn't working properly. Okay, so how are you going to remember all of this out in the field? No problem. Check out the inside of the Song Meter Mini Lid. There is a chart that describes all the LEDs, status, and front panel functions of the recorder. Thank you for watching.